Hey everybody, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. This knife is big enough, I've got to slide my sheets up a little bit and make some room and zoom out a little. So this thing is a beast. So this is the CCK Kao Kong Chopper. And this knife is constructed of a mono steel construction. So it's one big hunk of reactive carbon steel. The heat treat rating is, it, they're fairly soft, uh, 58 range we're kind of estimating. 58 plus, so they're not super hard. That they'll take a fair amount of abuse and cut through some pretty, pretty decent stuff uh, that you would never put a, a kitchen knife with a thinner edge or harder steel through. Uh, the weight and dimensions on these can vary a bit. But this particular one is 689 grams, or 24.3 ounces, so it is a handful. The edge length is right about 205 millimeters or 8.1 inches on the cutting edge, and then the overall length is about 305 or millimeters, just about 12 inches. The spine thickness, it is thick and heavy, uh, so I've got about 7 millimeters at the back and about 6.3 halfway down, and maybe it goes down to about 5 or 4.5 at the front. Uh, it is tall. At the back, it's 100 millimeters tall, and at the very front, you can see how it grows, the shape grows. And what that does is give you some weight forward, even more weight towards the front for power. Uh, but this has about 131 millimeters of height at the tip. Uh, the handle is just your basic wood handle that they use with the tang, and then they bend it over to lock the handle in. Uh, you'll probably want to seal this handle or oil it so it uh, maintains some water resistance. But kind of uh, just a basic big old honk and chopper. You can read about the specs on this and so on uh, and information. Uh, I would say look at the reviews too on the web page. They talk about being able to chop certain types of bones and certain types of processing of different ingredients with it. So I'll give you an idea of its capabilities. This probably isn't going to be a beef bone chopper, but you can do some smaller stuff. And again, look at those reviews. You'll get some good insight into what this blade can do. Um, it's not really for fine work, uh, but let's take a look. The uh, left side of the blade as you'd be holding it. Might as well get our beauty shot here. Gotta lower this thing down, it's so big. And you kind of have their usual style. You've got the uh, embossed or pressed in nomenclature on it and, and uh, information. You've got a Kuda Uchi or blacksmith finish on this and a lacquer finish on top of that. And you can see a couple different finishes as they grind it down towards the edge. The left side of the blade, as you'd be holding it, just has your basic hammered finish. And they're all going to be a little unique. You can see some different textures there, some hammer marks. It's got the Kuda Uchi finish and the lacquer on it. So it's got food safe lacquer on it. Out of the box edge, I'll give it 5, maybe 6 out of 10. Uh, it's a little hard to tell. I think there's some lacquer coating the edge. So you might want to just touch this thing up when you first get it and at least clean that lacquer off the edge to see what the edge is like before you do sharpening, unless you just want to run through a, a sharpening sequence on it. Um, fit and finish is, is uh, it's pretty good. It's got relieved corners on the spine, on the choil, so it's comfortable out of the box. Uh, the balance point, as you might guess, is going to be way up here. So here's my balance point up there. So, you know, this is a knife you may hold a variety of ways. I'm no expert on this, but you may not just be doing your standard pinch grip. You might be really choking up with these things. Some people are going to hold them up here, depending on what you're trying to do with it. If you're trying to really just whack something, you may be doing this with it, at, you know, the backside. Um, I'll throw it on the cutting board just so you can see how it interacts with the cutting board, just in case you didn't want to do some prep tasks that might involve that. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of got a flat part here, and every one of these might be slightly different. you got a back belly back there, flat here, and then a little bit towards the front. So that's kind of what it looks like. Again, these knives can be a little different from knife to knife on that edge profile shape or curve. But really interesting knife. Uh, check out, like I said, the reviews to see maybe if some of those things people are doing with it or what you're looking for. And if so, these are um, a lot of knife for the money and uh, they're pretty cool. So this is the CCK Calcon Chopper.